Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> I'm going to give everybody a minute to get in. Let me tag my partner in crime here and see if I can get him in here. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Victor. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I've got good sound tonight right now. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. 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 Evelyn's awesome. in here so far. And Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Um, I may have to put my glasses on. I'm trying <laughs> not to do my glasses tonight. So, <laughs> hey, Annie. Hey, Annie, I thought you were supposed to be doing a live right now. What's up? So, I'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes. I'm going to have to put the glasses on so I can hear. Or so I can hear. I have to have my glasses on so I can hear. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Is that yeah. the new phrase? That's the new, that's the new uh, phrase, yeah. So I can hear. <laughs> We're going to give everybody just a couple of minutes. We've got some special stuff going on tonight on Cruise Talk. Yes, Tuesday. we do. Um, Victor, I think you're wanting to try to get 14 people, right? Yep, 14 comments from 14 different people. Oh, okay. So um, we need 14 people in here to do this. So. Hi, Melanie. Let's everybody share, Norma, hey, Norma, hey, Melanie, uh, make sure you're sharing this with your friends, we got some awesome uh, discounted travel giveaways tonight, uh, Victor is looking for the first 14 people um, to start with, and he's going to bring out his, um, I, my I'll surprise, you, yeah, his surprise, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow that, so, hi, Tammy, Let's try to get a few more. We'll give it. Um, Sammy, were you the winner the other night on our Zoom meeting? Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. Um, anybody that was on the Zoom the other night by the name of Tammy, um, when we did the Zoom on um, Sunday night, the travel talk, um, we have a Tammy that has not claimed her prize, so no, it wasn't that Tammy, Victor. All right. I was just trying to make sure I'm doing right. <clears throat> hey, everybody, make sure you comment when you come in. First 14 people to comment is going to get a special um, – we're, we're going to do a, a special giveaway first, I guess, tonight, Victor, right? We're going to yes, do one first? Well, we awesome. can, and if I need to wait until somewhere in the middle, as well, as soon as we have 14 comments, I will get okay. started with that. So. Did you get your mom yet? Come on, mom. You got a comment. So anybody that's not commented and said hello yet that might be in here, go ahead and do that. Um, so, Victor, what's going on? Where are you at tonight? You're, you're I'm like actually a world traveler right now. <laughs> I'm at my mom's house, um, okay. home sweet home, away from home. So in Alabama. Yes, ma'am. All right. So what cruise shirt? Are you wearing a cruise shirt tonight? I am not. I'm actually wearing a Harry Potter shirt tonight. Hey, representing. I am, I am wearing a cruise shirt that I didn't realize had some stains on it. But this one actually, <laughs> let me tip my camera just a little bit. It says, and it's backwards, of course, but it says, I'm Valerie. Just uh, leave him beside the door. Um, and if anybody has ever brought the Cheers package, you'll know what I'm talking about because Steve's shirt, actually, he had a matching shirt that said, I'm Steve, and I purchased the drink package, and mine says, I'm Valerie. You know, if you find him passed out anywhere, just leave him by the door. I'll find him later. So. Well, Jordan, I guess I would be more considered Slytherin or Ravenclaw. Because, you know, Slytherin is more about all that ambitious. I'm usually trying to be as ambitious as possible, but I also love to read. So that, those would be my two options. I didn't even see the question. See? He asked, what house are you in in Harry Potter? Oh, okay, okay. I have so we, no got... Clue about we got 14 people in here. Every, 14, every one of you 14 people, make sure you've commented so we can Norma, I see Sheila. I'm excited for this. You got Melanie, you got Sheila, you got Jordan. There's your I got mom. Annie. I got my mom. All right. She's wearing her groove for St. Jude shirt. Cool. We got 15. 
We're getting ready to do a giveaway, so. Yep, I have 18 comments, or only have eight comments, though. Hey, Tyler. Well, we may have to do another one with your your surprise. So, you know, y'all. Hi, Susie. Anybody that's normally done my live, you know that I use my random name picker to pick my winners of the, the prizes. Well, Victor does things a little bit different. So I do. He does. He, he kind of came up with his own. So we got 19 people right now. Victor, have you got your 14 filled up? I do not. I have one, two, three, four more slots. Uh, Donna. Hi, Donna. Comment when you come in, y'all. Um, I'm going to give you a special phrase here in a little bit to comment. Um, and I haven't I have, quite figured it out yet. So I need three more people. So come on, three people that's not commented. Hello, Pam. Hi, Pam. Yes. Congratulations. I need two more. Two more. Come on, y'all. We got 17 people in here. 14. Well, 14 people is what we need to comment right now, so we can get this started. So, um, can I comment? Can Can I enter? If you want. Uh, that's too much work. I have to get the thing down and try to type. And, um, anyway, we need a couple more comments, so make sure you say hello when you come in. We're getting ready to do a drawing. Um, our drawings, y'all, are for discounted travel packages, and I'm talking some pretty good discounts. Tayshawn, make sure you comment when you come in. Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Oh, and got Sherry and Ronnie. Um, anybody, I think he's got one more spot for the next comment. We're going to do I a do, I do. Come and on, if nobody sister. comments, you know what, we'll just do a five seconds. And if no one comments, I'll Come just on. do a respin. Oh, we got, let's see, somebody just say hello. If you've not already said hello, get in on this drawing. Um, it's, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly what he's giving away. Um, well, I know. can go ahead and tell you since every, most everybody, and like I said, I can just fill that okay. last slot in as a respin. Okay. But this is a anywhere from one to four day trip to Las Vegas. Oh, we got Will and Nikki Jenny. Hi, Will. All, All right, right, so that would be my mine is closed. Guys, this is the so, first drawing that we're that we're doing. We have a few to do tonight. So if you miss this first one, hang <laughs> in with us. Victor has the Will of Fun. The Will of Fortune. Let's see who's gonna be the night's winner. can't read it it is norma norma you won what did she win again anywhere from one to four night stay in las vegas nevada oh norma you're gonna have to come on and let's go to vegas so it's a single life goodbye i guess so. <laughs> I, I will not sing that because i do not want to pick anybody through the horrors of my singing <laughs> So, y'all, thank y'all for coming in tonight for Cruise Talk Tuesday. Um, this is one of my favorite, 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 favorite lives that we do um, because, you know, I love cruising, and I know Victor loves cruising, too. I do. So, when you're sitting there and you're thinking about cruising, especially if you've never done it before, you may be confused on what do you pack? What do you take? What, you know, and I know when I first did my first cruise, I, I've said it before, I hit the cruise vlogs on YouTube. There's a lot of cool cruise vlogs out there. They will, they will go ahead or they, you know, they kind of walk you through a lot of the information. Um, they don't always focus so much on what to take as they do what not to take, because there's a reason you have to be careful on what you pack, right, Victor? Right. Um, you know, if you have any of those items, like I said, your luggage is going to be delayed by a few hours and it could be till the next day that you get your luggage. So just be aware of what you are putting in there. And for yeah. those of you from the South who go hunting, please make sure you do not have any type of ammunition left in your pants pockets or your suitcase. <laughs> or knives. <laughs> knives. I or mean, you, knives. Can take, you can take small knives, I believe. But now Steve always any, carries a pocket knife, but I always make him leave it in our vehicle. You know, Your blade we, cannot be bigger than four inches. Right. Right. So what we're going to talk about tonight is I'm going to take the what to pack side. And I think Victor is going to take the what not to, not pack, to pack. 
So I think one thing to remember too is when you're packing, and yes, if you pack something you're not supposed to take, it might be delayed, but your item is going to be confiscated. Yeah. And when that happens, you know, one of two things will happen. Either you'll never see it again, which they have a they have a place to go and pick it up, but are you going to be willing on the morning of debarkation or the night before, are you going to stand in that line to get that item back? Well, not only stand in that line, but will you remember it? Right. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, did you buy the drink package? You're probably not going to remember it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I prop, you know, prop them up beside the door. That's all I got to say. So long, five to seven days. All right, so while we're going to kind of go over this, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to do a drawing, and the drawing that I'm going to do, um, but I'm going to give you all a little bit. I'll, I'll go ahead and enter the names for one of mine. I'm going to do a three-night getaway. Uh, this is a discounted travel gift. There's there's a lot of choices on places for you to pick. Um, so I'm going to enter now for three knots. So if you want to be entered into that drawing, let's just type the words three knots. So go for it. Um, there is no obligation whatsoever. Once we finish this live, I will email you the voucher, um, you know, you're not obligated to purchase anything from us. We do this right now strictly for fun. I love to educate people on travel. I love to, because I live those experiences too. So if y'all want to be entered, three nights. There's Jordan. We got Pam. Pam who? Kidder. I hope I pronounced that okay. right. Just Pam K. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Varga. Tammy G. White. Wait a minute. Now you let's go ahead and Evelyn. I got Jordan. I got Pam. Tammy. Oh, got Tammy. What? Yes, ma'am. We got Will and Nikki. We Will got and Nikki. Melanie. Melanie. Trishon or Tayshon. My apologies. She won a prize the other night. Evelyn won a prize. The, we did. We give away. We got Sheila. Everyone. Tayshon. We got Sheila. S-H-A-U-N, Sheila, Sheila won a prize the other night, I feel like Oprah, everybody uh, gets a prize, right, you get a prize, you get a prize, yeah, you get a prize, gets a prize so. we got Becky, who, Becky Devine, Becky, oh, I see her now, Becky, hi, Becky, and y'all, if I'm slaughtering your names, I sincerely, uh, sincerely oh. apologize, hang on a minute, <laughs> You see, your little wheel is probably the better choice here because I'm struggling tonight. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody saw my post earlier. We got Susie. A little good news while I'm sitting here trying to enter this stuff. I became a full-time travel agent today, Victor. I know. How I'm so exciting. excited for you. I am so super excited, y'all. Um, I have chosen right now, thanks to a lot of support um, to make this my, I will, Jordan, to make this my um, profession. So I needed a change of pace, and this is what I'm doing. Um, All right. I'm going to give a countdown of five seconds. If you don't comment yep. three nights, you have five more seconds. That'll be it for this drawing. All yep. right? And then we're going to get started. So. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All, All right, right, so our drawing is closed. All right, so let me go in here. Wow, why did I put that? Oh, Pam oh. says she's working on being a travel agent, too. I see that, too. Let me go. I got one more that happened to pop up. and I'm Hey, Donnie, you're just in time, because I know there's a slight delay. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, Pam, uh, are you enjoying it, and how long have you been doing it? All right, y'all. We are ready to choose for the three-knot discounted giveaway, okay? And the winner. Are we ready? Drum roll, we are. please. Here we go. That's a drum roll? Yeah, I mean, I can't do it properly. I can't roll can my tongue. It. I'm going to see if you can see it. And then I'll, oh, oh, Becky. Dean. Becky. All right, Becky. So you got a three-knot getaway. And I will get that. What I will need is a private message um, with your email address. Okay? And Norma, if you could private message me your email email address as well. All right. Okay, y'all.
So here we go. Number one, Victor, you want to start with who, what to take or what not to take? Uh, I'll start with what not to take. Okay. So if you're going on a cruise, Victor's first thing you should not take in your luggage or on your person going on a cruise is? All right. So this one should be obvious, but any illegal narcotics or drugs, CBD oil or medical marijuana <laughs> is not allowed on any of the cruise ships. Okay. Now that does not count your prescription medication. And that's one thing I am going to talk about on mine. So I'll just go ahead and tie that right on in here is things to take. Don't forget to pack your prescription medication. Don't forget to pack some of your over the counter medications. It's expensive to buy over the counter medications on a cruise ship. And I'm going to give you an, yes, an example. Is. We were sick or I, I wasn't, I had back problems on the sunshine two years ago. And, you know, I thought I took enough medication and I, I'm like a walking pharmacy when I walk on the <laughs> ship. I mean, I've got Maalox, I've got Pepto-Bismol, I've got Benadryl, you name it, I've got it. Um, but I did not take enough of like an acetaminophen or ibuprofen, whatever. So we went to go buy a bottle of Aleve in the shops on the ship. And that stuff was $14 for a little bottle. Mm -hmm. I said, never again. I'm going to the Dollar Tree. I'm getting my over-the-counter stuff. And I don't care if I literally look like. You can take your prescription medications. And Evelyn brought up a good point. Always make sure when you pack your medication, you take a couple of days worth of extra. And usually what I do is if I forget anything, just stop by the CVS pharmacy right outside of the port. Right. And do your last also, minute shopping. Do not pack your medication in your checked luggage because if your checked luggage is late getting to you, you know, the luggage you leave with the porter that you don't take on the ship yourself. If you check it with them and your luggage is late getting there, you could potentially miss your dosage of your medication. So put it in your carry on. That's my tip. Yep. All right. What you got now, Victor? What, what else do we not take? All right, so obviously any type of weapons like knife blades or any items made specifically to like stab anybody with or anything like that, please leave all of those items at home. Axes, you know, this is common sense stuff, but <laughs> sometimes common sense just isn't so common. Right. Well, and I'm going to tie mine right in with you on things you can take because, you know, when you're talking about weapons, you don't want to take weapons that can hurt somebody, but you do want to take weapons that can hurt bugs. So mm -hmm. let's take, don't forget to pack your bug spray because <laughs> we went to Belize and it was a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of mosquitoes. Take your bug spray with you. That's another something that you do not want to forget and have to buy on the ship. So hey, Sean said. Spray. Tayshawn said on your last one that they could lose your luggage as well. That's why you should put your meds in your carry-on. That is true, Tayshawn. They absolutely could, could lose your luggage. We hope that that does not happen, but things happen. So that is a, a good point as well. All right, Victor. So I got my bug spray, which is my weapon against mosquitoes. But, you know, what, right. what have you got for your next not to? So anything that can incapacitate somebody, so like you're talking tear gas, mace, anything like that, you know, you don't want to be the person that accidentally brings that on because, you know, a lot of females love to carry mace into their purse, but you cannot take that on the cruise ship. Yep. Yep. You do not want to take anything that can hurt somebody. So I'm trying to see if I got something that can kind of, um, kind of, uh, tie into that and honestly probably not so i'm gonna go with my next thing binoculars um my husband absolutely loves to watch the water he loves to sit on the deck he loves to look for fins and stuff off in the distance so we always think to take our binoculars um, you know, and it, it comes in when you want, you see land in the distance, anything like that. So that's just one of ours. Now you don't have to take this, but these are some things you may not think. Everybody's going to think to take their clothes. Everybody's going to, you know, things like that. But these are some things you might not think about. So that was my next one there. Um, Victor was binoculars. So. All right. So you can take on a 12 pack case of soda or even like a small carton of apple juices, 
but you can't take anything that is not in a can or a carton that's that small. You, yep. ha- you know, so you don't want to bring on a two liter of Dr. Pepper because you will not be allowed on the ship with that. Yep. Yeah, you cannot, and you cannot on Carnival, I'm going to go to Carnival, because remember, Victor and I do a lot of cruising on Carnival, you cannot take bottled water, so, you know, a lot of people think they can, right? Right, usually what you have to do is order through the gift store, and before your boarding day, and that very first night, they'll actually have the case of water in your room for you, Right. and honestly, it's not much, (laughs) I think last time I looked, it was like five fifty a case for 12. Yeah, it was. Um, and if you've cruised more than one cruise, you all, you get, you know, your, your liter of water. So, you yes, know, you do. Which is kind of cool. So I'm going to tie it right along with Victor's don't take the bottles of soda. And I'm going to say, don't forget to take your Yeti cup or your <laughs> coffee cup. Um, it don't even have to be Yeti. It can be, you know, your off brand Walmart cup like I've got, but you, the cups on carnival cruises, um, if you get them in the Lido, things like that, they're tea tiny. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you can, you can, let's say you're a drinker. Um, you want to order some alcohol for your room through the fun shops. You can, or, you know, you, you carried on your soda. You can fill up your Yeti cup, make your drink and carry it around with you. You can, um, also, you can also um, put ice in it and get juice or tea or lemonade or whatever, you know, off Lido. So. Well, if you're a Coke and Jack drinker, you can also order that in the gift store as a package deal with yeah, a Yeti that's cooler. That's true. So I don't know if anybody is the drinker. If you don't do the, the, the cheers package and you choose to purchase alcohol. Um, so that's just my, my tip is don't forget your, your cup because you right. will thank me because you know, when you're having to run around to keep refilling the tea tiny cup, I mean, you know, so there you go. What's your next one? All right. So my next one pertains to alcohol. Do not bring on anything other than a 750 milliliter wine bottle because it will not be left on the ship. It can, it has to say wine on it. Now, some ports you might be able to skate by and get away with it for breaking the rules, but a lot of them will say no and just throw in the trash right behind you. Yep. And let me also kind of talk about that one just a little bit, because that is actually on my, that was on my things you can bring, which is your bottle of wine. Don't forget the corkscrew. And I talked about that the other night um, because it's like, I think a $15 fee if Carnival uncorks that for you. Yep. And they call it a corking fee. Right. So you want to bring your own corkscrew. However, let's talk about when you go into port, In some of these ports, you go through the duty-free shops. You can buy liquor, but you can't take it to your room to drink it. If you're going to buy liquor in a port, you take it back to the ship. They check it, and they will hold on to it till the night before debarkation. Um, And at that time, it's delivered to your room. You're welcome, Melanie. uh, Melanie, the only alcohol that you can bring is one 750 milliliter bottle of wine and in some cases champagne <laughs> jordan uh, said if you sneak it correctly <laughs> uh, jordan, jordan let's not talk about the rum right now, so. <laughs> but you know if you take your own you can only take one 750 milliliter bottle of wine per person over 20 or 21 and over so, you know, you can't have your kitties carry your wine on or they can't take a bottle. No, they can the soda. If you've got a baby, you can take a 12-pack of soda on for that, that child, you know. But when it comes to alcohol, it's 21 and over. If you don't want to buy the drink package, then you can order from the fun shop, okay? And I know Carnival originally just went from Coke to Pepsi this past year in 2020. I know. I'm so excited about that because that means they've got Mountain Dew. Right. But if you are more of a Coke pan, what you can do is go and buy your own 12 case can of Coke. Yeah. So yeah, it's up to you. So Um, Jordan's going to be running the rum runners. I don't see that. (laughs) All right. So what's your next one? All right. So also no explosive devices like fireworks, anything (laughs) like that. I know this is common sense, but you know (laughs) people have tried it. (laughs) I will take my grenades, I guess. That's actually on the Carnival website, though. So someone must have tried it. 
you know oh, gosh. it could have been something as simple as one of those popper packs you know yeah so wine bottles are a magical snake, <laughs> Jordan says. Uh, Jordan's still focused on the the, <laughs> the alcohol, wine. <laughs> like you're talking about bombs. I mean, so um, yeah, let's leave our explosives at home, please. You know, it does kind of make you wonder who in the world were these rules written for? <laughs> right. So um, if they're on the rule list, somebody must have done it at one point in time. And it could have been a kid that had some stashed away and is, you know for a past yeah. vacation or something, you know, it could have been like a 4th yeah. of July celebration and they just forgot to take it out. Yeah. Who knows? I guess. Uh, yeah. Tayshawn, I am right there with you. Yay to the Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> uh, because, because it's the Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. That's about all I want. So, um, all right. So you got that. So let's go with, okay. Something else that could potentially mess up a ship, not uh, outside of bombs that you can pack. And you do need to remember to pack is a non surge protected power strip. <laughs> it has to be non surge protected. Okay. You cannot have a surge protector and it has something to do with the wiring of the ship and the surge. Um, you, you don't, if you take a surge protected power strip, they're going to confiscate it. You're not, you know, you're not going to be able to use it. And then Definitely. you're going to get on there and you're going to have one outlet in your room and you're going to be wondering how you're going to plug everything up. So non-surge protected power strips are okay. Just make sure they do not have the surge protector. And I'm going to tell you what I actually found to do is I take an extension cord and you can go to like the Dollar Tree and get the little strip, you know, that just plugs in and it's got three or four outlets. That's what we take. So, um, Peggy said yeah. they do search your bags. Yes, so. they do. They do search your bags. Um, they put it through the x ray thing, you know, and with alcohol specifically. And I know we're probably going back to the alcohol. A lot of people do get lucky and sneak their alcohol on, but if they find alcohol in your bag, they do not have to let you board a ship. Am I not correct on that, Victor? You're right. They do not. They have that right to just deny you up front, but right. usually they won't. I mean, Hey, Victor, Melanie wants to know what's the craziest thing y'all have ever seen on a cruise. All right, I was about to point that one out to you. Um, the craziest thing I've ever seen. All right, so this is going to be a little bit R-rated. But I was on a college, uh, it was college, you know, March, so spring break weekend. Mm -hmm. And I was probably 12 at the time. And these two college dudes said, hey, we bought Viagra and we're going to throw it into our roommate's drink tonight. All right. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Well, I'm going to tell you, and I've got a video of this with mine. Um, <laughs> this was the sunshine again. Everything happened on the sunshine. Oh, but anyway, on the, uh, Victor, <laughs> <laughs> on the sunshine, we had, um, you know, there's kids everywhere. And, you know, we did the special need. We talked about special needs and stuff. And you know how a lot of people have the scooters. Well, you know, typically you don't see kids riding around in the scooters, but one night we were waiting on dinner and this kid was doing donuts all over. The he was about running over people. And I was thinking to myself, if that was one of my kids, I'd done been jerk, uh, jerking a knot in his butt, you know, and jerking him off of there. But then you see the person that should have been on that scooter come out, you know, just barely moving and able to do it. And I was like, no, mm -mm. No, but I, I just kept waiting on him to like run into the wall or something. But that, you know, I'm just that way. So, all right. So, some of the comments tonight, Valerie. Yeah. Romeo Go said, ahead, "Talk Rudy. about a hard night." Ah. Ah. Uh, Peggy said her nephew saw a girl jump off the top deck. Oh wow! I see Jordan's. He said he ran into a couple doing it on, <laughs> doing it <laughs> on the magic in the elevator. Hey, Sean said The Quest, which is a funny show. Yeah, I've not seen The Quest yet, but you know, the funny thing is, um, you know, they call it the fun ship for some reason, right? I mean, they really do. Carnival is the fun ship. So, you know, Jordan, I think they were having a little bit too much fun, but that's okay. Was it the glass elevators that go up and down in the atrium or was it at least the enclosed ones? That's what I want to know. It'd be more funny if it was the glass ones. Oh. <laughs> Talking about adventurous. Bad moon rising, I guess. I don't know. So. Evelyn said, hopefully someone had fun that night, LOL. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, hey, Victor, you want to do a drawing? While yeah, sure. Why not? Through this, why don't you go ahead? You want to do your other one? Um. Or you want me to do mine? You can do both of ours. Okay. So I guess that'll work. Then I'll just put everybody's names. Comment right now to fun ship. Let's say fun ship tonight. And while you're getting um, set, that set up, Jordan Anderson, fortunately, no, but I did cheer for them because I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So well, let's put fun ship in. We're going to do two drawings right now. Victor, what are you giving away? Um, I guess I'll just give another way. Uh, Vegas day. Why not? Okay, You're going to do Vegas again. And this time I am going to do the seven night. I'm doing a seven night discounted vacation getaway so, hey sean said her team won on the, the last quest oh that's awesome i've not been to quest yet but quest oh uh, you have Victor, to go Victor it is hilarious quest is and i right. need help here hang on so from my understanding what the quest is is it's a game show type deal where the audience gets involved and you have to find these items from the audience members and then wear them and okay. I do believe they do one item at a time until the very end where you're dressed up in all these uh, these items. Okay. All right. And, so you keep talking about that and fielding some questions while I enter people into this here. Well, all right. I'll do with some uh, a funny moment during the quest. All right. Uh, one of my friends was doing the quest. But this dad, I guess, was trying to help out his wife. But he was drunk. So one of the item quests was a bikini top. So the father actually tried to grab his little girls to give it to his wife, which everybody was telling him no. Oh. So. Anybody else? Has anybody else in here? I know, Tayshawn, you've done, you, you just told us that yours, um, there's a question from Melanie. Are the different decks that are known to be more family friendly versus wilder areas? Victor, you want to answer that? Not hey, to my experience. My not to my experience. You know, obviously, if you go on the Lido, that's where a lot of people are going to be. But Carnival is very, very kid friendly. Um, yeah. I, now, it's not if, like you're going to see wildness everywhere, Melanie, at all, you know? Right. So. Like, there's a few shows, it'll say it on your fun times that you get it, 18 and older, 18 and older, you know, to try to circumvent people who don't need to be seeing, seeing what, you know. So even some of the comedy shows can be rated 18, and, you know, I've seen adults get offended. So if you're easily offended, don't do, go to a comedy show, you know, don't be a heckler, because they will get don't it right sit back. Don't sit up front, don't sit yeah. up front, um... Evelyn said, go Disney if you are worried, LOL. Yeah, Disney is very, very, very family friendly. I have not seen anything that has been, um, that has been too out there. Seen. I, I, not, you know, of course, it just could be where I choose to go. Now, I will tell you, you know, the, that Carnival has the 21 years and older deck um you know that for adult it's 21 right it's not 18 it's yeah it's 21 right? because you have to be able to drink right and it's usually, the serenity yeah and usually what it is is if you go to the water slides usually it's on that same side as the water slides you just go down the stairs on the left or right just depending yeah. on what ship you're on and that's All where right. the serenity will be all right, everybody that's in here real quick go ahead if you have not yet commented fun ship Go ahead and say fun ship. I am getting ready to give away a seven knot um, discounted vacation giveaway. And Victor is getting ready to give away. Was it a three knot, four knot, Victor? It's anywhere from one to four nights in Vegas. One to four knot Vegas discounted giveaway. So all you got to do is comment fun ship. And I'm going to do the drawing here in just a second. And we're going to, I'm going to do one drawing and we'll do one at the very end. But right now is the last time you have to comment. So, Darlene. Melanie said, I'm not easily offended. I have raised teenagers. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way I am. I, I'm telling you, I've not seen anything that has just been over the top. I mean, right. So, Sean know. said they have family-friendly comedy shows. Yes, they do. That's um, the we, early one. Yes, we were just kind of touching up a little bit on the more adult stuff things, so. though. Yeah. So we got Jacob. 
All right, I'm gonna give y'all just one more second. Come on, we're gonna give away something, then we're gonna get this party started and finish up our lists here. Melanie says she wanted a seven night. <laughs> All right, Melanie, well, you know, come on. Um, I know Annie asked just a minute while we're waiting on everybody. I saw Annie's question a while ago about the day job. And Annie, the question to that is yes, I did make a choice to become a full-time travel agent today with the support, very much the support of my employers. Um, my, you know, they're awesome. And, you know, it is, I feel a lot of relief. This is where my passion is right now. So anyway, and you all are making that even more when you get in here and participate. I feed off of that. And I know Victor does too. And I love and it. Yes. Romeo, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So are you going to Vegas now? Are you going to win that one? Jordan so. said ditto for the honeymoon. All right. Let's do a five second count, uh, Victor. So we're in uh, the commented fun ship that wants to be entered into this drawing we got two of them we're going to do one right now one at the end five seconds um to go ahead and type fun ship in the comments all right five four three two one all right so we will go ahead and do the drawing now oh all righty so you giving yours or am i giving mine we'll do mine first all right, so we're going to Vegas. Who's going to Vegas? You ready? Let me get back out of here. Melanie asked if we have any for trip for six people because she has four kids in this house. Um, I don't think I don't we do know. at this moment, but who no, knows? But, you know, that doesn't mean that we could, you know, get with us. If, if you win something, get with us, and we'll see what we can, what we can figure out, okay? Yay, I know Jordan, and thank you, Annie. I am super excited about it. So, all right, here we go. Let's choose our winner for Victor's Vegas. Victor's Vegas. Listen to that. There's a Victor's big, big Vegas. Again. Here we go. And the winner is Darlene Wilson Clark. Did you hear it? I did. Wilson Darlene, Clark. Darlene. Congratulations. Wilson Clark. So, All right, so Darlene, okay. after this live, if you will send me uh, your email address on Facebook Messenger, or you can even send it to Valerie, we will yep. get with you after this live. All right? Yeah, Darlene's on my friends list. So, cool. All right, y'all. Let's go through a few more of this, and I'll give my seven day away. Okay? Thank you all. I love to see these numbers up there in the double digits tonight, even though it's, you know, it's 21 people right now. That's awesome. It is. All right. Whose turn is it, Victor? Um, I do believe it's my turn. Okay, well, go for it. All right, so my next one is any electrical or household appliances that have a heat um, element to it, please just leave that at home. Um, a lot of them are not carnival <laughs> approved, especially like curling irons. It has to be a certain style. So I can't take my stove. Nope. Actually, I think that's applying to things. You can take like a flat iron. Um, you can take a curling iron. You cannot take a steamer. Um, yeah, you can't take iron. an iron. Um, if you do need an iron, they have those in the laundry rooms. And yes, yeah. cruise ships have those. So, yep. um, Fantastic yeah, for formal nights, but make sure you get in there early enough to if you need to iron your suit or your dress, because that's what everybody's going to be doing at the last minute. Let me give you a nice little travel tip for the, the females that have the, and even the guys with the, the shirts that they want unwrinkled. Of course, you've got your wrinkle releaser, um, mm -hmm. but also if you will take and hang them up on the shower curtain rod after you spray your wrinkle releaser, then, you know, turn Take a shower hot shower. On. Yeah. Um, it will it will usually let it fall out. Plus, also if you have a hair straightener, you know you can you can actually use that to get some of those out as well. Yeah. So Sean said, a, "Leave your irons at home." Yes, yes, one hundred percent. Your irons at home. Um, your irons and your grenades. I mean, right now that's where we're at. You leave. You know. Don't forget right. the explosives. Let me tell you the next thing that I am going to. Yeah, Melanie's got some mean bed hair there. Yes, so hair the, straighteners are okay. The next thing I'm going to tell you not to forget to pack is your chargers and extra batteries. If you have cameras or whatever that use batteries, um, but also your cell phone chargers. How frustrating. Now, some people just get on the ship and completely unplug. 
they don't have their cell phones. They, they put them up. They, they don't turn them on. I'm just the opposite. I want to be able to communicate. <laughs> I want to do some live videos. You're, I can't even watch all the <laughs> All right. So um, we have pack so, a dress that doesn't wrinkle. Who irons on vacation? You know, you would be surprised. I, <laughs> I iron. I don't. I See, look, yin yang. I have never ironed anything on vacation. Um, you know what? I'm going, if it's wrinkled, it's wrinkled. Yes. So, Romeo you know, said Romeo, binoculars. I see that. What's the laugh after binoculars for Romeo? <laughs> I've done said. So Laura, uh, Lorna says she would unplug. You see, I... You know, I'm one, I like to do lives when I can, things like that. So don't forget to take your chargers or your batteries for your cameras, you know, or your chargers for your cameras. You don't want to get on there and realize you don't have them. So. Well, with the binoculars, you know, Valerie, you're a people watcher through and through, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. But what are you trying to say? I don't need binoculars <laughs> for that. My husband needs the binoculars. I just, you know, I mean. I was just getting you from your glasses comment because you need them to hear. Yeah, well, you know, you know what it is, okay. All right, so what you got, Victor? Um, all right, so we went over knives, scissors, and open razors. Uh, if they have blades longer than four inches, then you can't take it on the ship, which I know I kind of stated earlier. I'm just reiterating. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, we had some comments up through here. Uh, what did we have? Sheila, hang room, watch these mm. travel tips. They are giving away, we're giving away prizes, but we're also amazing. Come on. You know, I'm just right. playing. We're not amazing. Evelyn said, don't forget to buy the unlimited package of Wi Fi if you want to post on Facebook or even check your bank accounts or kids pay on tablets. Right. Okay. That's and a yes. Jacob, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Go ahead. Jacob said he can't survive without YouTube. <laughs> well, if you can't, and I'm going to give you a, another little travel tip, is if you like to watch TV or you like to watch movies, you're not always going to have, you can buy the unlimited Wi-Fi pack or what, or package. That doesn't mean you're going to be able to download and to upload things, okay? So what I would do is I would put, you know, some movies and stuff on my tablet or on my laptop if you're taking it. Go ahead and do that before you leave home, and that way you got them. That's right. my tip. Jordan said, Daisy does the Wi-Fi package and keeps a phone. I don't use a phone the entire time. Yeah, so, well, that's the way Steve is. Steve doesn't, you know, he doesn't use his, so he's Melanie, got too much other stuff. Melanie, I will get back with you on how much it is on average. I can't remember how much it is per day for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, don't and there's, pay... there's three different packages. Right. I Peggy, go with social. Peggy says she cuts her phone off, didn't want a huge surprise on the phone bill. Um, you don't airplane. have to turn your phone off. Just put it in airplane mode. Yep. And don't take it out. Do not take it out of airplane mode. For y'all that don't know what airplane mode is, it is a setting on your phone that will not allow phone calls or text messages to come through. Right. Okay. Evelyn said Disney was a hundred dollars. And then Romeo said, so you can take a pocket knife as long as it's under four inches. Um, from my understanding, would, per the Carnival website, yes, but I would never tempt fate. So I make Steve leave his knife at home, but I think they do that because a lot of people go scuba diving. Mm -hmm. So your scuba diving knives and things like that that you pack. Um, hey, Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, Melanie, you don't need Wi-Fi. You don't need the Wi-Fi. You don't have to have it. You can completely unplug. I have the benefits of Wi-Fi come with, I have a mom, she's 83, and she stays here. And usually our children, even though they're adults, stay here. So I want to be able to Facebook message them and things like that. Um, that's the reason I go with the social package. Melanie said, no, I will need that drink package. <laughs> yes, well, see, you'll need the shirt to go with it, too. I'm telling you. Um, so the drink package, the, the Wi-Fi package, if you go the social Wi-Fi package, it's really affordable. And yeah, you can it prepay is. prepay that before your cruise. So. And usually, if you just want to use the Carnival Hub app, which mm -hmm. is their app that lets you know what's going on, it's only $5 for, like, the whole trip, I do believe. You don't even have to have – you don't pay $5 unless you want the chat feature. Yeah, and I wanted the chat feature, to be yeah. honest, um, yeah. because I had two other roommates. Yeah. So it was just nice to be able to upkeep where everybody was at. Hey Jeffrey, did we did we, we go back up there? Okay, we did. He um, just said good evening. Oh, okay, good evening and good evening. Okay, so 
another little tip that you can take, if you've got a big group of people going, you don't want to buy the Hub app for the $5 chat. You don't want to buy the social package to keep up through, you know, Facebook Messenger or anything. You can always, yeah, I, I tell people, Steve leaves his knife in the, the, Yeah, um, I say the same thing, tube. Jeffrey. But, um, um, but I think when you're talking about the knives and the four inches, they're specifically talking in terms of, like the the scuba divers the you know the, the diving right knives because you can have. actually take your scuba knife kit with you um mm -hmm. i'm just not sure you know how that yeah. works well i've told you i make steve take his pocket knives out and lock them in the car before we leave so um what was um let's see sorry you guys uh Deshaun said airplane mode stops data and roaming charges Yes, yes, it does. Oh, what I was going to say is if you've got a group of people going and you have walkie-talkies, you can take walkie-talkies on. People don't usually do that anymore because the Hub app has made it where it's it's super simple. All right, so my next thing um, Mel is... Oh. Melanie said, if the planets align just right and I get to go on a cruise without kids, what would be the best op option to check up on them? Uh, um, I would get the social package. That's me. Or, you know... If you just trust, you know, you have grandparents to watch them or whatever, just trust them that they'll do the right thing and stay unplugged. Um, I know that goes with out saying, but some people do that. I would do that personally. Not me. I get the social <laughs> package. Um, you know, they can't, you can actually make a call from the room, you know, if you, ha in emergency situations or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that's a lot more affordable than forgetting to turn your airplane mode off or your airplane mode on, um, you know, but I, I get the social package and I think it's like 40 or 50 some dollars for the week. And I could do, is. you can do Snapchat, you can do the Facebook messenger, you can do, you know, we get it for one phone. Both of All us right. don't get it. We get it for one phone. All right. So Melanie, what the hub chat is, is, Carnival's app is called Carnival Hub. So when you go in and enter your booking number and your registration, you go in and say, I'm on this ship. And then you use the hub chat if you paid your $5. Yep. And that is what the hub chat is. All right. So my next one, um, comfortable shoes. Yes. You definitely. Might, as women, we might want to take these cute shoes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, Jeffrey, um, drones are allowed. You just have to make sure that you check the local laws and customs of whichever port you are going to. Yep. And leave it out of, um, yes. you know, and a lot of times what they will do is they will take the drone, um, and lock it up until you get to port. You can't have it on the ship. You can't fly it on the ship. You can't, um, it, it but just you can fly depends. it if you land. Yeah. Um, so and what I would always say to anybody that would ask me about a drone is you have to call and verify the information in the port you're leaving out of. And there are some places, some ports that you actually have to have a permit for, um, you know, to, to be able to operate the drone that is on, on who, wherever you're going, you have to do the education and know about that. So, uh, and the only right. reason I know that is because, you know, we have a drone and, and that's one thing I, I researched, but we also um, were able to, um, you know, take it up in places like Grand Turk, um, right. things like that. But then there's other ones, I think, like Belize, you're not, oh, yeah, no, not using it on board. That would be funny. They could be dropping the explosives. Victor's already told us we can't take, you know, you have your drone flying around on board. Anyway. Evelyn said, so, don't forget to plan for extra tips if someone is really helpful. Also plan yes. for the parking at the port. Definitely. Right. So back to the comfortable shoes. Um, don't forget to take those. You do a lot of walking. You do a lot of walking on the ship. You do a lot of walking in, in port. You do a lot of walking. So always make sure to take something comfortable. Plus, if you're wanting to do any, you know, of the adventure excursion, zip line and things like that, I think you have to have comfortable closed toed shoes to be able to do that. So your flip flops are not going to cut it. So just make sure that you take a pair of comfortable. Don't wait till the cruise to break them in either. Have them broken in before you go because you will be kicking yourself. Jordan so. said that Daisy uses the social package to check up on our puppies because we can't go knowing that they are perfectly okay all the time. Right. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, that's so the social package is the, the best thing, I think. That's my that's for me. You know, if right. you know, there is also uh the travel uh 
not the travel, the it's the computer. What's the place with all the computers called on the ships? I can't even remember. Uh, the Internet Cafe? Yeah, the Internet Cafe, you know, to where you can access. I think there's a charge, though, to use those, right? There access is, the and it's it's usually kind of per minute, I do believe. Yeah. So I could be wrong. I want to say this is why it's a good thing to have a travel agent know before you go. Absolutely. And as a matter yes. of fact, <clears throat> I am a travel agent. Victor is a travel agent. Jeffrey Stephan, who's in here as a travel agent. Annie, Annie Cushing, that was in here as a travel agent. Mm. Sharon Cox, I don't know if she's in here or has been. She's a travel agent. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it, it is definitely good to have a travel agent and to be able to have that conversation. They're going to get to know you. They're going to get to know your needs. They're going to be able to find a lot of these answers for you. And if they can't, they're going to be able to help you know with where to go. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Bye, Jeffrey. Thank you for tuning in. All uh, right. So what's your next one, Victor? All right. So if any of you ever plan on getting saucy in the bedroom, please leave your uh, handcuffs or other restraints at home. Because they are not allowed on the cruise ships. Did you just go there? I did. Oh, uh, you just went there. Okay. All right. This is a PG um, 13 show, apparently, now. So, um, <laughs> and I think I just blushed a little. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll just, <laughs> we got the laughing faces going. So, we will just go with um, what Victor said. That's what he said. So, yeah. Um, I love it, Victor. I love it. Uh, oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. We just went from PG-13 on. All right. So moving on. Moving on. Let's go with um, towel clips. Yes. You know, it gets windy. Oh, so wear clothes at all times, Annie. It gets it, Romeo. Oh, Lord. Um <laughs> Gosh, y'all, it's um, <laughs> windy on the deck. So if you're going to lay out in the sun <clears throat> or if you're going to relax beside the pool, you're going to want the towel clips, not even the fuzzy ones, Evelyn. You're going to want the towel clips to hold your towels onto your chair. If yeah. not, you're going to spend some time chasing those all over the Lido deck, and that is not fun. So no, it's that not. That's my next one. Um, so for the kiddos, if they have any self-balancing hoverboards or, you know, hillies or anything like that, tell them to leave those at home as well. Um, they're not allowed either. So Jordan. <laughs> oh, Lord, 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 Lord. All right. Um, good to know, Victor. She said, Melanie said, my well, you know, one, um, and if you all have not. Um, requested my uh, tr uh, top 12 cruise tips and tricks. Make sure to just, you know, put tips and tricks or something like that in this post. I will make sure I uh, send that to you through your messenger. But this is one of them that's covered in that. And it is a watch for while you're in port. This is a yes. big one. I cannot stress this enough. Um, if you were here last Tuesday, I believe we did talk about it, but um, when you port somewhere, your phone may adjust times. You are always going to go by ship time, not port time, unless for some reason they've announced something different. But that is which actually happened, which actually happened on the Carnival Legend. It due did to because the... we were uh, time change. Yes, we actually started the time change because I was on an the hour early with you. Yeah. yeah, we started it actually the day before it actually started. We were already on that time. But if so. you take the watch, keep it set to ship time, whatever the time is on that ship, so that when you're in port, you're going to know exactly what time you need to be back on that ship. If you are late back on that ship, they're going to leave you. I mean, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They're going to leave you. So just make sure you take that watch. It will save you some time and potentially, you know, some headaches. So anyway. All right. So this is more of a respectful thing. Please leave all your boom boxes or large radios or speakers at home Can because your neighbors do not. Boxes anymore? They do. Oh, okay. Okay. But. You know, even if it's just one of those Bluetooth speakers that can get really loud, you know, it's more respectful. Just leave those at home. 
you know, your neighbors don't want to hear your music. They're just there to in your, enjoy their vacation like you're enjoying yours. Right. Uh, your eyes are right. Okay, bye, Annie. All right, my next one, and this is a personal for me. Um, Carnival coffee is strong, extremely strong. I take creamer with me. And I take either the little individualized cups of creamer or I've taken the the jar of the powdered creamer. Um, not the refrigerated no. stuff? Do what? I said not the refrigerated stuff. No, I don't I don't take the refrigerated. You can. I mean, they're not going to say anything. They've not said anything to me. It goes in in my carry-on. Just the know, reason why me. the reason why I mentioned that is you make you want to make sure that your room that you're going to stay in has a refrigerator if you do bring that. Yeah. That's the only reason yeah. why I brought that up. Yeah, and well, and that's partially the reason I take the kind that's the non, you know, that doesn't have to be refrigerated because not every room on a ship has refrigerators. So keep that in mind. So I take the powdered creamer with me because I'm telling you, now you can get the coffee um through like the the specialty <laughs> coffee shop, but if if you're talking the Lido deck coffee, I mean that stuff will hit you it'll put hair on your chest. I mean, that's, that's all, or for me, it will. So I need my creamer. So. Right. So the reason why I was bringing up the refrigerator thing is, you know, we touched on medication earlier, but <laughs> people who need to take like their insulin shots or any, like need to keep any type of medical, you know, medication yeah. cold. Yeah. So, and you can ask your room steward for a bucket of ice as well. So, Yes, you um, if you don't have a refrigerator, they will keep you some ice in there. Uh, but if you have the medical, like you said, you said that you can request a refrigerator from that. But you yes, you can. Don't wait till you get on the ship to do that. I would try. Try to do it beforehand. Request early. So, um, the next thing that not to bring would be candles and incense. Um, you know, you can't have an open flame on the ships ever. So I know that incense, you know, you just light it up very quickly and then let it smoke out. But even that little bit of spark in the beginning could cut your room on fire. So, right. But I will tell you what you can bring. If you're wanting to set the mood to use these fur, the fuzzy handcuffs, I guess, or whatever, <laughs> you can bring the little tea light candles that are battery operated. They also serve as night lights. They're excellent little night lights. A night light is something else you want to pack. Speaking of which, if you have an interior room, it's very dark um, yes, it because there's no windows. So it is very, very, very dark. And if you're like me, it's kind of hard to wake up and have to go to the restroom in the middle of the night. And you don't even realize where you're at. So to have that night light, you know, and if you don't have a night light to plug in, you can bring those little votive candles. So what about oxygen? All right. So that is a medical, uh, I believe, is where you're going with that. Please call Carnival or your travel agent beforehand and let them know of any medical needs or, you know, anything like that so that we could help you in the best way possible. Yeah. Yeah. Because there like are, you said, you we know, need to go. In that case, we need to go before you go. Yeah, there is. So. Um, there is not. I mean, there is the, you know, Victor and I both are certified with special needs. Um, you know, a lot of travel agents are. So when you're looking to find a travel agent, if you have special medical needs or whatever, look for that. Ask them if they're certified on that and if they can help you with that. So, well, especially if you need like a wheelchair, a scooter, or the right motor transportation to get yeah. around. You know, yeah. we can't get that for you at the very, very last second. It would take a few yeah. days. But so just right. please let us know ahead of time. Right. Now, Evelyn says bring air freshener, and you're absolutely right. Poopery is awesome. You know, that yep. bottle of stuff that you can get when you go to the bathroom. That's kind of cool. So, yep. uh, Febreze. I also take Clorox wipes with me because I like to rub down the room. So, that's just um, another little tip. Now, um, is it your turn or my turn? Your it is turn. My, my turn. turn. Oh, your turn. Okay. Yep. Um, so, do not bring inflatable kiddie pools and just throw them on the Lido. They are not allowed. Um, believe it or not, people have tried because, you know, know. they bring their newborns on for some reason and they think, oh, this will be perfectly A-OK. -okay. It's not. Well, let's give a little a little heads up on that, too. If your child is not potty trained, out of diapers, potty trained, 
your child they can not get in the, pool. in the pool or in the the water splash pad thing or on the slides they will not be and there's a reason for that okay and this is not your typical pool this is a pool that first of all it's very small they pull it from the ocean yes it's filled from the ocean and if one person has an accident in this pool they have to drain, literally, correct, Victor? Have you ever went through and seen that process? I have. There? Okay. So, I mean, I am. that's the reason. If your child, you cannot put them in the water in pull-ups, in diapers, none of that. If they're not out of diapers and potty trained, they're not going to let them in the pool. Okay. Evelyn said and swim floaties are should. not allowed. Uh, swim floaties are allowed, I think, as long as your kid is potty trained um but not the big floaties i mean just like, like the one that like, goes like around the arms right the water wings are but not like the you know the big swans or whatever. the pool is completely salt water 100 percent. your eyes will burn yes they will they will it will burn your eyes uh my nephew actually on our last cruise <sighs> dove in um not even realizing at the time that it was a salt water pool so yeah, um, it's not very yes, fun. Romeo, the pool is salt water. Um, and I think so are the um, jacuzzis as well. Right. So, so uh, this, turn. yes, it is. Yes, it is. What was my next one? I think I'm there. Oh, do not forget your cruise formal attire. And I'm going to say cruise formal. That is a very loose term. Okay, some is it's called elegant night. It's called it's not really formal night. It's it's here's what that means. If you go to the dining room, and a lot of people stress about this. To me, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care what you're wearing. If you go, just I don't wear either. clothes. Just wear clothes. I don't care. You know, I don't care what you wear. But a lot of people, and you will see a lot of discussion about what people are supposed to wear. wear. And Bruce with, critics. Cruise critics is the worst. Never go off of that site. It's right. terrible. But what they will tell you is, you, you know, guys are supposed to be in at least collared shirts with, you know, khakis, khakis not blue or, jeans. But you can wear from anywhere from that up to a suit to a tuxedo. My husband, I can get him in a collared shirt, but he's going to wear a nice pair of blue jeans. He's not, I'm not going out and buying khakis so that he can have a lobster tail. That he, He'll he never wear those khakis again. Steve and if you're very much a blue jeans person. Right. So. And if you're a Southern guy, you know, everybody loves their blue jeans. Right. So now women, they say you can't wear shorts. They don't want anybody wearing shorts in the main dining room, this, that, and the other. Women, you know, it would be a nice dress or nice slacks or whatever. Guys, I personally, I, you know, I'm going to tell you, take some, I, take your Sunday clothes, your Sunday clothes or whatever you want to wear. But if you don't want to wear that and you want that lobster tail, it, go get the lobster tail. You know, I mean. Hey, Lorna. It's, it's your vacation. Do what? If y'all decide to do that, just let me or Valerie know. We will be happy to book your vacation, by the way what they oh, said melanie or lorna okay lorna posted but it was about melanie yeah yeah that's right jordan just be feeling yourself and forget anyone else guys if what you wear affects my vacation then i'm not there for the. No, i'm not doing it right i'm you know i mean that's that's on me that's not on you uh and tayshawn says i don't care either a pair of slacks and a nice shirt is all i did right I mean, why, if you, if you want to dress up, if you want to wear the formal ball gown with your hair fixed and your nails painted and your makeup perfect and do it. It's you do vacation. you. You if do you. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. You know, I mean, but I did feel like I needed to mention whatever makes you feel good, wear it. That's all I can say. It's not like they're going to boot you out of the dining room. You might get some looks from certain people. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's vacation. Have fun. Yep. So, all, right, all right. So this is for all of you people who love to either go surfing, go canoeing or anything like that. Don't bring your own surfboard, your own canoes or any other type of boat because they will not be allowed on the ship. You know, you, know, you wouldn't I have the room to put myself. it. I could see myself trying to carry a daggum kayak <laughs> on this boat. I mean, I don't even want to carry a 12 pack of soda, let alone. But can you imagine? Who? Who? Just who? You so, know, it's probably been tried plenty of times before. 
I know, I know. It, it, it's one of those things that just makes you go, huh? Yep. You know? All right, last one of mine. And that was my last one. So, yeah, And this is the most... <laughs> Get that lobster, girl. That's right. Get that lobster. You know, that's what... Get that lobster and that prime rib and that chocolate melting cake, which is awesome. But anyway, if, so go ahead. I was going to say, for lobster, they're actually going to start charging $5 if you're going no, on... No, not no, no. Not if you go on a six night or longer, right. but for yeah. a five night or less, they're actually going to start charging $5. Which is fine because they had done away with it. You know, yep. they, they weren't doing it at all. So, yeah, FYI, what Victor just said, if you go on a six night or longer cruise during your first formal night, you will get, or elegant night, mm -hmm. you will get prime rib and lobster. That's your yes, elegant. You and have as many lobster tails as you want. So. so, I actually saw that on John Held's Facebook page today. So, I was just letting yeah. you all know. Yeah, yeah, because I saw, I saw that too. And I was like, oh, come on now. All right, the last one. And this is not something that goes in your suitcase, but it's something that you've got to remember to take. And that's your passport, your ID, or your passport and or birth certificate, um, your ID, your boarding documents, print those out and take those with you. Yes, a lot of places are doing electronic check-in, but, you know, even with the electronic scan in the board and pass, I always print out my stuff and carry it with me. Um, you and have those in your hand when you get up and you pull up to the cruise, the terminal or the port, you're super excited. You're about to get on this ship and have this most amazing, amazing vacation. And you're super excited and you've taken and you've put all of your stuff in the suitcase and thought, Hey, I'm going to get my boarding pass and my, my documents out before I give it to the porter. Well, guess what? You get excited. And what happens you don't. You forget it. And you've handed your luggage off to the porter. Where's your boarding pass? Where's your passport? Where's your birth certificate? Make sure it's in your carry-on. Keep it in Make your carry-on. Sure. Make sure it is. And I take my backpack that I carry with me in the port. I carry that on. Right, Tayshawn, a copy of the passport. <laughs> Um, I always make copies of our documents and also leave those at home with All right. somebody. So, Tammy, the thing with the passport card is a lot of countries don't even really accept them. I honestly prefer to have the physical copy of my passport versus my passport card. Because, say, you're flying to Europe and you're getting on a ship from Europe, they're probably not going to accept the passport card. Well, that's okay. If you're flying to Europe, you can't fly with a passport card anyway. Exactly. So it just depends. It just depends on what type, you know, where you're leaving from the port. The passport card is only good to get the you US. back to the U.S. Um, by land or by water. So if you're going to have to fly somewhere, that passport card's not going to do it. So, you know, I one thing that I did, and that's what we actually have been traveling with because my husband said he's never going to fly anywhere. So I was like, why am I going to invest in the expense of getting a passport if he's not going to fly? Well, now he's decided to fly. So we've got the passport card and that is what we have used. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, the passport card, if you're going to invest, go ahead and invest in the passport uh, plus when you go into some of these ports you can get them stamped there you know i mean you can get your passport stamped so which is kind of cool you can't get your passport card stamped so um romeo i'm not sure about an inflatable stand-up board with its own carrier i really do not know that would probably be something i would have to call and ask about what was that uh he was asking about a stand-up board with its own carrier like a blow-up one. Oh, okay referring to like my surfboard and stuff Tayshawn can't have lobster because her seafood allergy. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, Jordan, take your signed document from a judge if you legally change your name or gender marker. Absolutely. And if you're a parent that does not have sole custody of a child, it is always a good idea to go ahead and take a note from the other parent. That says you're welcome, you Tammy. Permission. So... Um, anybody else got any questions? Evelyn says, make a copy of your passport and keep it in your luggage in a case uh, or in case you lose or it's stolen. Absolutely. But I also leave one back at home as well. My, my passport, my ID, my social security, my birth certificate, anything. Um, I go ahead and make a copy of that also. So, All right. So Valerie. Yeah. Do you think we should do our last two giveaways? Uh, well, are you doing two or are you just doing one? I've already done one, didn't I? 
Oh, I didn't know if you were going to do another one for the end. Did I do? I did my. Who won my seven nut? Did, no, I no. You did yours. I got to do mine. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I have a seven nut to give away. All right. So I how about for this? No, you're good. So to enter in this one, just type V and V in the comments, and that's going to stand for Victor and Valerie. Dude, I done had all these names. So now I got to put them again. All right, we'll do it. Give me just. Well, a minute. I'm sorry. Or we had a few your, people. You gonna do your will of, will of fun there? Or am I doing this? I can do whatever. Um, I'll do this. It's okay. Just all right. Give me a second. So for my last, I can give away one more with you if you want me to. Do what? Why don't I can we give just, away. We'll get all the names this one, and then we'll just draw for it. How's that? I mean, I'll draw for mine, and I'll hit it for yours. Does that work? That'll work. Okay. Help me get these names. All right. So if you already have them, so Jordan, Tammy, okay, Jacob, you know, Evelyn. I'm doing it again. I'm having to enter them all again. Jacob. Did you sorry. say Jacob? Evelyn. No, that's I did. okay. Evelyn. Okay. Tammy. Tammy, uh, which Jordan? Tammy? Okay, I see Sheila. Who else? Romeo. I'm missing. You're gonna have to tell me who I'm missing. Did you get uh, Jordan? Jordan Anderson. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you have Susie Kapke. Susie. Daisy I got, Faxon. I got Miss Daisy. Sheila. You got Sheila. I got Sheila. You got Romeo. I got Romeo. You got Jan Gibson. Who? Jan Gibson. Jan. No, that one's one I haven't done yet. Okay. You got, got Donnie. It. You got Donnie Goin. Donnie who? Goin. Yep, got it. All right, so you have Melanie. You have Tayshawn Savvy. Melanie, hang on, I'm having to enter him again. Sorry. Tayshawn. No, you're fine. You're uh, fine. Got it. Peggy Lawson. Got it. Kathy. Gilliland. Kathy Gilliam. See. That's my aunt. So hi, Aunt Kathy. Okay. Hello. Anybody else? I think that's everyone. But just in case, we'll do a five-second countdown. Right, so you have five seconds to comment. So five, four, three, two, I got one. It. And that should be everybody. Um. Make sure there's not any lag. Okay, I got Melissa. And what'd you say V and V stands for? Victor and Valerie. Excuse me, I think it's Valerie and Victor. Either way. <laughs> A before I. I'm A before I. I. You're right. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. I got, um, hey, Lily, I'm going to go ahead and throw you in this one. That's under Daniel. There's mm -hmm. Lily Victor, the best logo creator in the world. Yes, I love so, my logo from her. She did an amazing yeah, job. I got my logo and some of my videos from her. So awesome job, Lily. All right, so we ready? I'm doing the seven nights. We are. All right, I'm going to do mine first. And... So here we go, y'all. And hang on. It just completely froze. Yes, it does this. So give me just a second. Try it again. You're and welcome, Lily, and thank you. Is... Peggy Lawson. Peggy Lawson. Tammy, Peggy. Peggy, Peggy Lawson. You got a seven knot discounted giveaway. Um, that will be, I will get that voucher to you. Just make sure to go ahead and send me your email address um, in my, my private message once we're done here. Okay. And my my last one's gonna be so surprised because you know I'll match your seven night getaway. Your what? I'm gonna match your seven night getaway. Oh yay! He's gonna do another seven night. That's awesome. So, just trying yeah. to surprise everybody. So we have a seven night getaway. Another one from Victor. So let's do this. Ready? I already actually hit it. So here's your name. Tammy. Tammy. That would be Tammy Watt. Congratulations, Tammy. All right, y'all. So I want to remind everybody that uh, Friday night is game night. I usually fly solo on that one right now. Um, but then on Sunday night at 7 o'clock, um, we are actually taking it to Zoom. We're going to try to figure out how to stream it over to Facebook, though. 
Um, but we do a travel talk. Um, we do cruise talk Tuesdays. We do travel talk Sundays. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, and this coming week, we're going to have special guest Sharon Cox. We're going to be talking about Belize. All of us, Victor and I both have been to Belize. Victor's been there about seven times. Uh, but Sharon has done some pretty special work over there. And so we're going to get her perspective on Belize. And as usual, y'all, we are going to be giving away. We always give away stuff. Come on. We want people to travel. <laughs> we want you to do it at phenomenal rates. We want you to, you know, this is what we do. We have fun doing this. So well, thank Valerie you, and I, for coming on. You're welcome. And Valerie and I feed off of your guys' energy. So mm -hmm. when y'all are interacting, I enjoy it. She enjoys it. Yep. So let's get more people in here. Yeah, um, and if you'll notice, we're cruise dressing down on Tuesdays. You know, we might be a little more dressed up on Sundays. I'm just going to call it T-shirt Tuesdays. Yeah, T-shirt Tuesday. So, so, but thank you all for coming tonight. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you get a lot of, um, a lot of, of information and have some fun with this. Okay. So Victor, any final thoughts? Yes, that is Valerie from On The Go Travels and I am Victor from Victorious Vacations. Have a good yep. night, y'all. Bye, y'all.